she is uh, one of our employees here at Arizona Pain Specialist in Scottsdale, and she's going to join us for this segment on pain management news. So, Dr. Lynch, yes. have you heard about this recently published study by the Mayo Clinic on vitamin D? I have. It's, you know, it's interesting. Um, pain management doctors in general are really starting to come back to the basics on treating pain. And, you know, a lot of patients are out there on really strong medications like narcotics and heavy pain relievers like morphine. But simple research on something like vitamin D, getting more vitamin D in your diet could actually reduce your pain. Um, so this study that was released by Mayo Clinic, I think it's important for all people suffering with pain to look at. Um, we've known for years that vitamin D is important uh, from a pain management standpoint. One of the most obvious reasons is that vitamin D actually helps the uptake of calcium in your diet. And so calcium, of course, is really important for your bones, for your joints, um, and even in your muscles. Um, this new research on vitamin D out of Mayo Clinic, they actually took um, almost 300 patients that were admitted to their pain services, and they looked at their vitamin D levels. And they found that uh, patients who were on opioid medications like uh, morphine or oxycodone who had low vitamin D levels um, were actually taking higher doses of medications. And the ones who were taking less medicine typically had higher vitamin D levels. And so there's clearly more research that needs to be done. Maybe it's a chicken or the egg thing where taking higher uh, doses of medications makes your vitamin D level go down. We don't really completely know, but we do know that there is a correlation there. And so, um, but it makes a lot of sense because vitamin D helps with uh, bone growth, it helps um, with muscle function. Um, and so it's, it's really exciting research. Um, so for somebody like me, um, you know, I live a fairly active lifestyle. What, how do I know if I'm not getting enough vitamin D and what should I do if I do find out that I don't have enough? What can I do to augment? Yeah, that's, that's an excellent question. So um, first of all, if you happen to have pain, if you have low back pain or if you have uh, muscle pain um, or if you have whole body pain. So the research they looked at was specific for a couple areas, but <clears throat> the people that look like they have the most benefit from this are people who have like fibromyalgia or disorders of the muscle or people who have uh, kind of widespread pain syndromes, not just one area, but they have pain all over. They have headaches, they have back pain, they have neck pain. Um, if you have one of those conditions, probably the first thing you should do, the smartest thing you should do, is discuss it with your doctor. Go see your pain doctor and see if they think it's a good idea to check your vitamin D levels, because this is something that can be supplemented. And different people need different levels of supplementation. Some people just need just a touch, maybe a multivitamin is all you need. Research on vitamin D from the federal government says that most uh, healthy adults need about 1,000 units of vitamin D a day. Um, but the thing is, it's extremely difficult to get vitamin D in your diet. Most foods, except for like fatty fish, don't really have vitamin D in it. And so most uh, healthy adults should take a vitamin every day to get the appropriate amount of vitamin D. Now, if you are a chronic pain patient, if you have fibromyalgia or muscle pain or even back pain or joint pain, probably more like 2,000 units a day makes more sense for that patient. And your doctor can easily check your vitamin D level um, and give you an appropriate supplement for you. Is that like a blood test or how do you test that? Yeah, it's a simple blood test that your doctor could run that you get done at the lab. They'll interpret the results and they'll look at other things besides vitamin D as well. They'll look at other um, hormone levels and you can do an entire workup. And um, a lot of pain management doctors are working towards looking at hormone levels and vitamin levels and trying to supplement that before they go to stronger, uh, heavy pain medication. So it's very exciting. That seems like a really good idea. I'd like to avoid narcotics if at all possible. It, and, and that's exactly the way most of our patients talk to us is, why take on the side effects of these uh, other strong medications when you can just uh, get a natural balance that's right for your body. So Dr. Lynch, are there any other ways to get vitamin D other than taking supplements? Yeah, there is. That, that's a good question. So first of all, as I said before, most foods don't have a lot of natural vitamin D, but a lot of food manufacturers realize this and realize the importance of vitamin D in the diet. So there's lots of foods that are fortified with vitamin D, from breads to cereals to even milk. And um, by buying these uh, foods that are fortified with vitamin D, this can also help get more natural vitamin D um, into your diet. Um, and then the last thing, which is extremely uh, applicable to people here in Arizona, is the benefit of sunshine. If you, uh, 
If you just spend 15 to 30 minutes outside in the sun every day, that alone can greatly increase your uh, natural vitamin D in your body. It's really important to realize that this alone isn't enough to increase your vitamin D in some people. So it's actually better for lighter skinned people because as the sun touches your skin and you, become, uh, you begin to tan, that's actually the process that increases vitamin D in your body. So if you're already a darker skinned person, uh, African American or Hispanic, the vitamin D levels aren't as high when you're exposed to the sun. And then secondly, if you're older, and once you get over about 65 years of age, going out in the sun, it, it's much less uh, response to vitamin D. So um, this is one thing that you can use to supplement your vitamin D, but don't uh, plan on this being the only aspect. The other thing I, that we should mention here when talking about uh, going out in the sun is the risk of skin cancer. It's really important that you always balance the benefits of vitamin D on your pain syndrome with the possible side effect of skin cancer, which we know can occur from too much exposure to the sun. Uh, a good way to get through this is to discuss that with your dermatologist or your primary care physician. Okay, so that's our show for today. We really uh, we appreciate you tuning in. Um, join us back next time as we're going to talk more about pain management and you're going to hear another story uh, from one of our patients. In the meantime, if you want more information, you can log on at ArizonaPain.com and you can read uh, on our ePain book. Also, if you have specific questions you'd like us to answer, you can email us at painshow at ArizonaPain.com. We'll see you next time. And remember, at the Pain Show, we believe you can be pain-free.